What's going on everybody? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Cricut Icon 3. Now this phone has a 6.5 inch LCD display with a resolution of 720p, a PPI of 268, and an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. So it's pretty standard. You really can't get a whole lot more standard than that. Most entry level phones nowadays are going to have pretty much these exact same specs. And I would say considering this and considering that this phone is a really entry level phone, the display definitely doesn't look bad at all. It's not quite as bright as some I've seen, but it's still pretty decent. The size of the display being six and a half inches is definitely pretty good too. Whether you're streaming videos, viewing photos, playing a game, even reading, everything is going to show up decently large on this display, so it's not going to be a bad experience at all. For the front facing camera, we got a water drop notch here, and this camera is 5 megapixels. Now for storage, this phone has 32 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion. It's definitely not a whole lot. You really are going to have to watch what you put on the phone because 32 gigabytes, even for an average user, is going to fill up really fast. Now, with that being said, I do recommend getting a micro SD card if you get this phone because it's going to expand your storage a lot. Now, there's no wireless charging with this phone, which is not a big surprise, but we do have a fingerprint scanner right here on the back. So let's give that a try. There we go. One more time. And there we go. As you can see, this fingerprint scanner is real fast and responsive. Overall, performs really well. And that's especially a good thing because this phone actually doesn't have face unlock. So if that's a feature that you were looking for, definitely keep this in mind. Now taking a look at the rear camera setup, we only have one camera here and this camera is 8 megapixels. So if you want to take a lot of photos, especially for social media and stuff like that, where well, you might want to use portrait mode, I would definitely suggest looking at a different device because this phone, while having a decent camera, I guess for what it is, is not going to be able to take photos at the level that you would probably want them if you're taking photos for social media or something like that. To give you an idea of what the photos actually look like, this photo was taken with the camera of this phone and it's not bad, but it's definitely not great either. I guess if you had an editor and put some extra color and maybe some sharpness into it, it would be okay. But really, if you're taking photos for social media and lots of photos in general, I would recommend getting a device with a better camera because for most people, this really isn't going to cut it. Internally, this phone is getting 3 gigabytes of RAM with the MediaTek Helio A20 processor. Now, I ran a Geekbench 5 benchmark test on the phone and it came back with a single core score of 148 and a multi-core score of 505. So this is really the lowest tier when we're talking about processing power. This is definitely an entry-level phone that's really not going to be able to do a whole lot. So if you want to do higher-end activities like gaming and video editing, or even if you're just going to be on your phone a lot, so if you're on social media a lot, or if you're just browsing the web constantly, I would consider a device with more processing power because this is really not a whole lot. And while it's going to be fine for the super basic activities like sending text messages, making calls, that sort of thing, you're really not going to be able to do a whole lot else. This is really going to be reserved for the more basic activities where you're mostly using your phone just as a phone and not doing a whole lot with it. Now this phone has a 3500 milliamp hour battery, so not a very big battery at all. You get an okay amount of life throughout the day, but you're probably going to have to charge it every night. And down the road, as the battery starts to degrade, you're going to notice it a lot sooner than say if you had a 5000 milliamp hour battery. In addition to this, there's no fast charging, so if you're in one of those situations where your phone is dying and you don't have a whole lot of time to charge it up, this could be a huge inconvenience. So now that we've gone over some of the specs of the phone, let's take a closer look at the device itself. So on the left hand side here, we got the slot for the SIM card and the micro SD card. On the bottom, we got a 3.5mm headphone jack, the microphone, a USB-C port, and the speaker. On the right side, we got our power key and our volume keys. On the top, we got the noise cancelling microphone. On the back, our camera setup, our flash, our fingerprint scanner, and the Cricut logo right down here. The back is made of a matte material that doesn't really pick up fingerprints all that much, but they're still definitely visible in the right lighting. Overall, as expected, this phone doesn't feel premium at all, definitely feels like a cheap phone, and one thing that really adds to this is the weight. This phone is super light. It feels like there's nothing in it. So yeah, it really does feel like that typical cheap Android phone. So if you have higher expectations for this phone, you're probably going to be a little disappointed. But if you're going in knowing that this phone is a really basic device, 
that's pretty much the bare minimum and nothing else, then it should be fine. I mean, I've definitely seen worse than this. And while it does feel pretty cheap, it doesn't really feel flimsy per se. It definitely has a solid build. So even though it might not feel very nice, it'll at least be able to hold up to daily wear and tear. So in conclusion, my final thoughts about the Cricut Icon 3. This is a really bare bones basic phone. Judging by a lot of deals that are going on right now, you're probably gonna be able to get this phone for free. Now be sure to check the link in the video description because pricing and availability is always changing, which is why I rarely ever talk about it on this channel. But with that being said, Regardless of whether you get this phone for free or not, I really wouldn't pay a whole lot for it and I definitely wouldn't pay the full normal price because there are lots of phones out there like the Cricut Debut for example that have pretty much the exact same specs as this one, albeit the screen is a little smaller, but it's even cheaper. So honestly, unless you're getting this phone for free, I would personally avoid it because if you just want an entry level phone where you can do a little bit of stuff with it like light social media use, browsing the web, that sort of thing, there are definitely phones you can get with better cameras, better batteries, and more processing power than this. But if you're just looking for something to use to make calls, send text messages, take photos to send to friends and family, something like that, and maybe a few Google searches or something, then this phone should still be fine. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you found this information useful as well. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and as always, I will see you in the next video.